Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you part two of my layering combos. Y'all, I'm always excited about layering videos because, I mean, layering is what I do. I love the whole entire fragrance experience. And I encourage you guys to explore the fragrance experience with me if this is something that you're new to. The shower products, the body oils, the body sprays, or the fragrance mist, along with the fragrance, is just an entire experience and you will never ever look back, okay? Back in the day when I used to wear fragrances, it was an afterthought. Although I've been wearing fragrance since high school, it was always like I'm getting dressed, I'm rushing out the door, and then my fragrance is the last thing that I'm just spraying on real quick and I'm out the door. Now it's a whole experience, it's a whole lifestyle, it's a whole thing, okay? So if you wanna know about these layering combinations here today that are fire, okay, let's start there, let's not forget that part, these combinations are fire, then just continue to watch. Guys, before we get started with the video, please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure that red button turns gray. Tap that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Thumbs up the video so I know you love my content. And finally, leave me a comment below so we can get to know each other. Now, let's get started with the video. All right, guys, so 99.9% .9 of these combinations I created myself here in the lab. <laughs> but there's two combinations that I wanna share with you that my subbies actually put me onto. And when I tell you, first of all, y'all are out here killing the game, okay? Can we start there? Y'all are out here killing the game. Like, where's your YouTube channel? Where is your fragrance layering video? Because y'all are coming up with some combinations that are fire. So one of my subbies told me to layer Lancome's Oud Bouquet, which you guys know it's Oud and Rose and Praline. It's a beautiful, kind of Middle Eastern type smelling scent. It's so addictive to me. I absolutely love this scent. I don't think it's for everybody and I don't think it's a safe line buy, but if you know, you know. You know what I mean? She told me to layer it with Delina Exclusive. Y'all. The two of this right here is a match made in Oud and Rose Heaven. This is also Oud and Rose, and I believe there's lychee in here. I, I don't think there's any rhubarb in here, but I believe there's lychee in here, there's rose, there's Oud, but this has a creamy dry down. This is more sharp, this is more creamy, but y'all together, listen, they are besties together, okay? But I did add a little spin onto it, so, I mean, she didn't say to layer it with the Delina body cream, but I did because, I mean, Delina exclusive, Delina body cream, it's like a no-brainer. So, I did use this first, but I added my little spin on to it with my Jo Malone Velvet Rose and Oud Dry Body Oil. Y'all, if you love rose, if you love oud, this is the rose and oud combination that you didn't know you needed period. You didn't know you needed it until now, okay? This combination is fire. Now, usually I wouldn't say go out and get a fragrance to make a layering combination, but if you got it like that, go on ahead and do it because this is fire, okay? Period. <laughs> now, another one of my subbies put me on to another combination that, I mean, when she told me, it was like, girl, why didn't you think of that? Like, this combination just made so much sense to me. And I did it, like, literally she told me and I did it that night. And y'all, <laughs> let's just say, <laughs> I had a good night. <laughs> so she told me to layer Gris Charnel by BDK with Blanche Bette from Liquides Imaginaires. Y'all, the two of these... Girl, what, where have you been all my life? If you have more combinations, leave them down below because this is fire. For some reason, this kind of gives me a family member of this, if that makes any sense. This isn't lactonic. It doesn't have any of those milky, creamy notes, but it just works so well together. Y'all, this combination was so fire. OMG, so much fire. So I know a lot of you guys don't like layering your scents, but... Listen, once you start, you can't stop because I was just like you. I too was like you. If I buy a fragrance for X amount of dollars, it's gonna smell like the fragrance that I purchased. And that's all well and good and cute and everything. But when you're trying to use up your fragrances and you have a large collection and you just wanna have fun and smell things that are unique and different, layer your fragrances for a different experience. Not saying you can't wear this on its own or this on its own, but together, 
it's a whole new fragrance that you didn't have to buy. You know what I mean? It's just so incredible to me. And I loved them together. Very earthy and woody, but milky and creamy. Y'all, this was everything. So Blanche Betts by Liquids Imagineers and BDK's Gris Chanel. And you can save 20% on soavantgarde.com using my discount code, the Great 20 on either one of these fragrances. All right, next up we have a combination that I feel like a lot of people at this point have done or are doing because it just makes so much sense. It's pretty much a no-brainer. If you have Midnight uh, Amber Glow by Bath & Body Works, and the only one by Dolce & Gabbana. This, I mean, like seriously, it's a no brainer. <laughs> like honestly, I've been seeing this floating around on Instagram and I believe on YouTube and it's literally a no brainer, y'all. Like this is so good together. I told you guys before that this has amber, caramel, latte, and vanilla bourbon and Dolce & Gabbana the only one. It has orange, coffee, pear, iris, uh, patchouli, vanilla, caramel, rose, beautiful together y'all beautiful beautiful together if you love this fragrance then get this right here because i told you guys this goes with so many fragrances so we're going to go on to the next combination with this pair and it's giorgio Armani c intense now the notes have nothing nothing nada not a thing to do with this right here but when i tell y'all it just works Sometimes the notes matching up makes sense because, you know, like the notes and the notes and you're bringing out that certain note in the fragrance. But sometimes it doesn't have the same matching notes, but they just smell beautiful together and they just work. Okay. This right here, like I said, has nothing to do with this, but this has a very sweet caramel type of scent but it's a black currant syrup. Y'all, this is everything. I told you guys when I purchased the original, like the um, original C, I returned it. <laughs> I purchased it and returned it. And then I had a sample, used a sample, smelled the dry down. I was like, you know what? I really love this fragrance. And I bought it back when Macy's was having a sale. This was in 2020. Now this, I would have never returned this because on first sniff, this is a love, period. It's super sweet. It doesn't have that green note that's in the original C of this. I mean, I have it and I love it and I wear it, but honestly, this right here is a real MVP and paired together with this, it's everything. The last fragrance combination with Midnight Amber Glow is by The Seven Virtues and it's Vanilla Woods. Another one that has not really anything to do with this, but there is caramel in this fragrance. Let me see if I can find the notes for y'all because y'all be bullying me for these dang notes. So in Vanilla Woods, we have pear, rose, vanilla, and amber, but there's also caramel in this fragrance. And you know there's caramel in here. It just works, okay? I don't know if it's the caramel. I don't know if it's the rose or the vanilla. I don't know what it is, but what I do know is that they smell awesome together. So this pair right here is everything. So the next combination, I told you guys in my favorites video that Castling by Mind Games is my absolute favorite right now. Mind Games has some bangers, okay? But right now, this second, for the past couple of months, I've been reaching for castling like it's nobody's business. I love this. It smells like a beautiful green fig. It's sweet, but it's green. It's kind of earthy, but not in a, like a Woodstock, like 60s or 70s type of vibes. It smells very modern. It's very beautiful, very different. And what I layered it with, it's like a perfect match is um, Balad Sauvage Cream by the Christian Dior line, like the Dior Privé line. Y'all, I done told y'all, this is a birth child of Diptyque's philosophical, <laughs> I'm not saying it right, but there's a fig Diptyque fragrance, if you know, you know. Um, also Killian's Good Girl Gone Bad and Balad Sauvage by Dior. This with the cream is awesome. It is everything, it's beautiful. This is a fig cream, it's sweet. It's a little creamy. It has like a sandalwoody kind of creamy type scent. I'm not sure if sandalwood is in here, but this cream, y'all, is so free. Listen, I be talking about this a lot. I don't know if y'all got this, but y'all need to trust me because Balade Sauvage is everything, to me at least. But if you have Castling and if you're looking for a body cream to go with it, Balade Sauvage by Dior. And I'm telling you guys, I think I told you guys so many times, I'm beating it in y'all's head, that the creams from the Dior line are beautiful. They melt into your skin. They smell amazing. The scent is potent. You're not going to be disappointed, although they are very pricey. Okay, they cost a lot of money. 
but I believe they're worth it. So Castling by Mind Games and Balade Sauvage by Dior. Now, should we go here? Are we ready to go there? I'm not sure y'all ready for that. Let me hold off on this one right here real quick and let me take you over here. So here we have the EOS Shea Better 24 Hour Moisture Body Lotion in Vanilla Cashmere. This is a Target pickup. This is a Walmart run. <laughs> this is CVS. This is um, Walgreens. Any of your drugstores, you can pick this up. This smells like a beautiful, sweet vanilla cookie. It smells like a cookie, period. If you like those gourmand cookie type scents, you need this. Now, the fragrance that I layered it with, it's not a cookie type of scent. Let me get the notes for you. Because I know y'all gonna wanna know. It's not, here it is. It's not a cookie type scent at all, but the contrast between the two is what does it for me. So by Initio, we have absolute aphrodisiac. Woody, smoky, vanilla, not very sweet. Sweet, but not in a way that you would think about sweet, like not sweet, like cookie cutter type sweet. Let me tell you the notes. It opens up with vanilla, there's amber, musk, leather, and white florals. Now, although there's vanilla in this fragrance, it's not your vanilla extract sweet type of vanilla. I feel like it's the more greener part of the vanilla, but it is sweet. It's sweet enough, you know what I mean? But paired with this, can we say you smelling better than everybody? Can we say sexy date night? Can we say he gonna be all over you? Are y'all listening to me? Are y'all taking notes? EOS, Shea Better 24 Moisture Body Lotion in Vanilla Cashmere. I believe this is like $6, $5. It's under $10, y'all. Get this. It smells like a vanilla cookie. It can go with so many of your other vanilla fragrances. Pair it with Absolute Aphrodisiac if you have this. Like I said, it's more of a unisex type, woody, sexy, deep, dark, earthy scent. But together, this tames the beast. Okay, this is a beast. And when I say tames the beast, okay, it's not like it's not making it beast mode. It's just adding a little bit more sweetness to it, adding a little bit more sex appeal in a sweeter, more feminine, demure type of way, like more playful. It's so perfect together, y'all. Just trust me when I tell you. You can also save 20% on soavanguard.com using my discount code, thegreat20, and get this fragrance. Now, I'm gonna just give it to y'all right now. Let me just give it to y'all because these right here, y'all, it's just, y'all are gonna be so happy. Like, I'm happy to do this for y'all because y'all are going to be so happy because so many of y'all have asked me for combinations for fragrances in this group and I found the perfect body cream for it and it's at Bath & Body Works, y'all. And it's there right now, okay? I hate nothing more than watching someone doing like a layering video or whatever and they're showing me lotions and sprays that are discontinued that I can't get. Sis, give me something I can go out and get if I want it, okay? <laughs> so this is by the Aromatherapy line by Bath & Body Works and this is the Cinnamon and Sandalwood. Look at it real good, okay? Because y'all need, y'all need this, all right? Like look at it real good, y'all need this. Now, one of my subbies told me to get <laughs> the oil to this it has like an oil bomb y'all i returned it to the store quicker than you can say oil okay i tried it out like i purchased it right away because i love how this smells got the oil came home took a shower rubbed it on my skin only to find grazzle or greens or pebbles left on my skin no no <laughs> that's something that we're not gonna do when i'm rubbing an oil on my skin i want it to be nice and emollient and oily and soft and smooth and just glide onto my skin. I don't want any gravel or, or grazzle, pebble. I don't want any of that feeling like a plague on my skin. No, okay? So cinnamon and sandalwood, and I believe that's the only notes in this. Yes, just cinnamon and sandalwood. Now, the fragrances. Listen to, you heard the notes, right? Cinnamon and sandalwood. So many of your fragrances have cinnamon and sandalwood in the fall and the winter, okay? All right. The first one I paired it with, y'all. This is so much fun. Like, I'm so excited. The first one I paired this with is Angel Share by Killian. 
do I have to say the notes in Angel Share? Let me look for the notes in Angel Share because I don't want y'all trying to fight me. All right. So in Angel Share, we have cognac, we have cinnamon, tonka, praline, um, vanilla, and sandalwood. It's the cinnamon and sandalwood. You're bringing out the cinnamon and the sandalwood. Now, let me say this. If you're not a fan of cinnamon, which I don't know why you wouldn't be a fan of cinnamon, and if you're not a fan of a creamy, woody sandalwood, which why aren't you? Then maybe you need to stay away from this fragrance and this body cream. But if you like spicy cinnamon and creamy, woody sandalwood, here you go. Here, take it. Take it now because you need it, okay? This right here is a beautiful, beautiful match. Now, there's a couple more fragrances with this cream. This cream is gonna go a long way. So if you could get it, get two of them, okay? <sighs> side effects, is this side effects? Yes, side effects by Initio. And can we talk about how the bottle like just looks perfect with this? Can we talk about the purple and the gold? Let's talk about it. Like this looks like it was made for each other, y'all. So y'all already know, side effects is my Jamaican rum cake. And honestly, it's coming up right now because this is a Christmas treat for us. Like Christmas time in the Caribbean, you eat rum cake, like that Jamaican sweet fruity rum cake. And that's what this gives me. But y'all, oh my goodness, y'all. I purchased this in 2020 with my own money. I keep having to say that because that's how amazing this was when I first smelled it. I smelled it in Neiman Marcus and I was just blown away. Like, wait, what? Like, let me smell this again to make sure like I'm not tripping because this is a masterpiece to me. If you love cinnamon, if you love sandalwood, let me tell you the rest of the notes, child. Because like I said, I don't want the problems. We don't want the problems, problems. <laughs> All right, so in side effects, we have rum, vanilla, tobacco, and cinnamon. Sexy, 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 and sexy. This is a beast. This will last on you for hours and hours and hours. The Energizer Bunny has nothing, nothing on this fragrance right here. This is so beautiful, y'all. It's like a sexy date night scent, but it's also sweater weather. It's sweater weather, sweater weather. It's also a sweater weather type of fragrance. Y'all, this is everything, okay? I spent a lot of time on this, but let me just let you know that you can use my discount code on soavantgarde.com and save 20% the great 20 and get you this fragrance because I mean, I feel like you need it. Like you need this, okay? Now, we have three more fragrances with this. I told you, this is very versatile. So, we are gonna go here with it. Tom Ford Santal Blush. Spicy, creamy sandalwood. It has oud in it, but honestly, the oud isn't like a prominent type of oud. So, if you're afraid of oud, don't worry about it because honestly, I don't even smell the oud in this fragrance. It's probably just there to ground it, but this is a very beautiful, spicy, creamy, woody fragrance. It has spices, cinnamon, carrot seeds, jasmine, rose, uh, benzoin, sandalwood, and oud. Match made. Match made. Okay, another one that I have no performance issues with. Very long lasting, very sexy, beast mode, projecting, date night, date day, work. <laughs> like, Whenever you want to wear it, Sun Cell Blush by Tom Ford. Definitely pair it with this, y'all. Now we have two more. I'm going to save. Oh, should I? I'm going to save this one for the end. But another fragrance that I layered with this, that this fragrance can be layered with so many other creams in this list. But I just wanted to feature it. Was this around the whole time? I'm sorry, y'all. This is the front of the bottle. But I just wanted to feature it with this because I love it with this more. But like I said, you can do it with a vanilla. You can do it with whatever. So this is by Goldfield and Banks. And this is Silky Woods. <sighs> Let's just talk about this fragrance for a minute. Just for a hot second. This fragrance, it's a vanilla scent. But when I tell you, let me tell you the long and the short of it. If you've ever smelled um, Sunset Hour... If you've ever smelled Sunset Hour, which the notes are completely different from this. Let me get the notes of this one. The notes are completely different. But this smells like Sunset Hour with more vanilla. I don't know how that's possible. It's probably just the DNA in their fragrances because this has like, let me tell you the notes in this. Cinnamon, saffron, suede, oud, ylang ylang, jasmine, vanilla, sandalwood, and musk. When I tell y'all, this is the most sweetest, 
most earthy, sexiest, spicy vanilla fragrance, but it's not like a super, it's not yelling at you, okay? I know some of y'all want the fragrance to tap the people on the shoulder, yank them, and say, here I go. She ain't gonna do that, okay? She's gonna let everybody know that you're there once you've arrived, okay? She's not snatching and yanking anybody, but she will be on you the entire time. Very long lasting. You can overspray this fragrance. It's not offensive, but it's so good. It is so beautiful, y'all. If you love vanilla scents, you need this. You can also save 20% on soavantgarde.com using my discount code, the great 20 Y'all, this is freaking amazing. And paired with the cinnamon and sandalwood by Bath and Body Works. Get your whole life, okay? And this is a nice looking pair too, with the purple and the gold. I just love it. Now, are y'all ready for this? Okay, y'all are ready, right? Are y'all ready? The last fragrance that we're gonna pair with this today, because I have other fragrances in my collection that pair with this, but I don't want the video to be five hours long, okay? If y'all want a part three, just let me know in the comments that you want a part three. Or should I make this a series? I should probably make it a series, right? I, I'll think about it, we'll see. But the last fragrance today being paired with cinnamon and sandalwood by Bath & Body Works is none other than one of the most sexiest fragrance my nose has ever smelled, okay? And my nose has smelled some sexy fragrances. But this one just kind of snatched my soul. Well, not my soul. No, we ain't snatching souls. But she snatched my neck. And that is none other than Pavort by Fragrance Dubois. And can we talk about how it matches? <laughs> Look at this, y'all. Look at the purple and the gold. It is freaking gorgeous. Y'all, y'all already know how I feel about this fragrance. Like this fragrance is one of the most beautiful, spicy, saffron, vanilla. Oh, oh my goodness, y'all. This is freaking amazing. Now, I should know these notes by heart, right? I should, but I don't. I hope I wrote them down. Ooh, y'all about to be mad at me. Ooh, y'all about to be mad at me. Okay, so I didn't write the notes for Cavort down. Although, I mean, listen, y'all. It has saffron. It has vanilla. It has cinnamon. It has sandalwood. Period. Okay? It matches perfectly, well, layers perfectly with cinnamon and sandalwood by Bath & Body Works. You can also save 20%. Using my discount code on soofmongard.com, the great 20. Now let's talk about Cavort for a hot second, just a hot little second. I know y'all probably tired of hearing about this fragrance, but let me just talk about it for one little second. This is very long lasting. This is pure sexy. This is attention getting. This is a conversation starter, okay? Do I think it's a safe blind buy? I don't think it's a safe blind buy for someone who's used to wearing Armani C's and Burberry Hers and Dolce and Gabbana. I don't think it's a safe blind buy for that nose. Not saying that you won't appreciate this, but coming from that into this, you'll probably you'll probably think it's too spicy, too woody, just too different. You know what I mean? But if you're used to different scents and you're you know you're used to your Bond Number no. Nines and your Tom Ford fragrances, your Royal Crowns or like those type of niche fragrances. You will love this. Love, okay? Like L-O-V-E, love. <laughs> Y'all, this is so beautiful. I love this fragrance. And this is the time of year that I wear this fragrance and I get so happy because you can't tell me nothing when I'm wearing this. No, you, you, what? I can't hear you. These two right here is everything, y'all. <laughs> All right, do y'all remember over the summer when I put y'all onto Call of Fruity by Soap and Glory? And it's perfect with all your fruity fragrances and Cassiopeia. And y'all were so excited and calling me the goat, this, that, and the third. Well, I have another one by Soap and Glory for you that's going to layer with two fragrances in your collection if you have these fragrances. So this is the Smoothie Star Body Butter. I featured it on my channel before with one of the fragrances that we're going to talk about. But there's a new fragrance that we're going to speak about today as well. So this one has, it's scented with almond and vanilla, okay? This is what the bottle looks like. I'm gonna link everything that we're talking about in the video below, but you can purchase this at Ulta. 
um if it's at walmart or target is it at walmart and target because the thing is they have different scents like i know that walmart and target sell soap and glory but there's certain scents that are exclusive only to ulta so i'm not sure if this is an ulta exclusive because i did get mine from ulta or was it walgreens i'm not sure but like i said i'm gonna link it now the first time i featured this on my channel i featured it with by killian's rolling in love beautiful vanilla almond milky lactonic type of scent very strong very loud um i don't think it's for everybody but it's a beautiful scent i'm obsessed with this it pairs beautifully okay the vanilla and almond it's a match made now the other fragrance that i discovered that pairs beautifully with this is blanche bet by liquids imaginaires y'all this is like a sweet nutty coconutty milky lactonic freaking dream all year round type of scent all occasion type of scent you can dress it up you can dress it down it is beautiful and paired with this i mean it just brings out the almond and the vanilla and if you like those scents although there's no almond in here it just smells almondy and nutty and coconutty to me that's what this kind of gives me the vibe of but in a milky in a milky way like kind of like a sweet milk with honey and coconut that's what this smells like warm Okay, like imagine a warm sweet milk with honey and coconut and almonds. It's such a beautiful scent, y'all. You can also save 20% if it's in stock on soavantgarde.com using my discount code thegreat 20 Now, I know a lot of y'all like to wait for the 30% discount, and I would too, okay, because the extra 10%, you know, you can save extra coins, but let me just tell y'all this. Your fellow frag heads are trained to go. Okay, they are not waiting for the 30%. They are getting it at 20. So if you waiting for the 30%, you might not get this, sis. So get it at the 20 if it's there in stock because they cannot keep this in stock. This is getting very popular right now and the people want it, okay? And they are getting it. <laughs> so if you know what I know and you see it for 20%, get it. The code is the great 20 if it's in stock, okay? And this body cream is like, seven dollars like i'm not sure but it's less than ten dollars it's not pricey y'all it's so fun it layers beautifully together and it smells amazing okay now mm, mm, okay let's take it to something sweet i was gonna save this one for the end but let's just do this now so this is also by bath and body works it's in stock right now it's actually part of the new holiday collection and when i show you this y'all <laughs> It's just not going to make any sense to you, but just roll with it, all right? Just roll with it. Just roll with it. So by Bath & Body Works, we have Bright Christmas Morning, all right? <laughs> yes, Bright Christmas Morning. This is what the packaging looks like. It's new this season, so if you can find it, get it, all right? I believe it's still in stock anyway, because this is brand new. Now, what I layered with Bright Christmas Morning, let me tie the notes of this first. So in this one, we have Ripe Red Berries blood orange and crisp apple okay so don't let the name and the packaging fool you this is not sugar plum fairy uh santa claus with mrs claus mixed with a little bit of frosty the snowman okay topped off with a mistletoe no this is regular old ripe red berries blood orange and crisp apple okay it's just in this packaging now the fragrances that i layered with the body cream and the body spray because i mean it's just that good like why would i not the first one parfum zamarli oriana a lot of y'all have been asking me what to layer with oriana oriana does not last on my skin oriana is beautiful but she's not a beast i want her to scream i want her to this that the third and everything else in between these two right here this kind of smells like oriana y'all i don't know how because the notes aren't really Maybe it's the, it could be the br the blood orange. Yeah, it could be the blood orange and the ripe red berries. Because in Oriana, there's red berries and there's also orange. It has like a marshmallow, kind of like fluffy, sweet type of note. But I'm telling you that this kind of gives me the vibe of Oriana. Oh my goodness, it's so sweet. It's sweet and fresh and citrusy. It's so beautiful, y'all. And paired with this... Y'all could go ahead and thank me later. No, thank me now. Yeah, you can thank me now because this right here is everything. And for you guys who wanted a layering combination with Oriana, here you go. Now, there's two more fragrances with this, okay? So stand by. The next one, 
Love Don't Be Shy Extreme by Killian. I mean, you know what's coming, right? Like if Oriana is in here, then you knew this is gonna be in here too. Y'all, it's perfect together. I did it the other night to go to bed and when I tell you, the sheets, it's the sheets for me. When the sheets smell so good and you flick the sheets up and down and you get in the bed and it just smells so sweet and inviting and just, oh, it's so beautiful, y'all. Layered with this, it is everything. You could probably do it with Love Don't Be Shy as well. I haven't done it with Love Don't Be Shy, but I will, but I'm sure it'll work because I mean, this is kind of similar to Love Don't Be Shy, but this has a more citrus note in the opening to me. I heard one of my subbies say that she didn't get this because she heard that it had a, a strong prominent rose note and she's not a fan of rose. But for me, it's not the rose in here like whatsoever. For me, it's a bright citrus note in the opening, but smelling like Love Don't Be Shy, but with more citruses. So that's what this is right here. So the last fragrance that I paired with Bright Christmas Morning is by Mugler, and it's Angel Nova. Now, Angel Nova doesn't smell like Oriana or like Love Don't Be Shy to me, but it does work with this pair right here because of the red berries. This has raspberries, do I have the notes written down? I don't think I have the notes for this, but this has raspberries, I believe. Are there strawberries in here? I'm not sure there's strawberries, but there's definitely tart raspberries in here. There's um, Akigala wood in here. So it's like a woody raspberry scent, but paired with this, it's beautiful. This has no performance issues. None of them do, actually. This is a beast. It lasts super long. It's a very beautiful, very pretty designer scent that I absolutely love. If you love the scent of a tart raspberry with like a woody dry down, um, hello, you need this and you need to layer this because it just adds something sweeter. It makes it last longer on your skin. It's just so beautiful, y'all. So bright Christmas morning is definitely one to have. Now, let's go on to Joe Malone. I've been hinting at this. Let me get the fragrances because I have my table here. I've been hinting at this one in my um, favorites video. I shared with you guys and I told you that I have a layering video coming up featuring some Joe Malone layering combinations so this is joe malone's myrrh and tonka it has almond there is myrrh but for the most part it's almond myrrh and tonka to my nose oh. yo i mean this just smells too good okay it smells too good and the moisture the hydration that it leaves on your skin is so beautiful it's not just a lotion that smells good you know what i mean like it's a very good quality product i absolutely love it and it should be good quality because this is over a hundred dollars okay now the first fragrance sultan by royal crown now let me say this this one right here is a beast okay sultan is a beast she lasts forever on your skin very long lasting very projecting like she doesn't have no issues whatsoever i don't care what kind of skin you have i don't care if you have the type of nose that gets anosmic <laughs> to fragrances it's gonna kick in once you put this one on your skin because this is a beast okay let me see if i can find the notes for y'all do i have the notes for sultan oh yes i do oh i was getting scared because I don't want y'all to fight me, like I said. So, in Sultan, we have vanilla. There's dates, fruity notes, cedar, rose, jasmine, myrrh, oud, sandalwood, and it ends with saffron. It has that spicy, leathery thing. Oh my goodness, y'all. This is freaking amazing. Okay, amazing. And if it's in stock, you can save 20% on soilmongard.com using my discount code, the great 20 Sultan and Jo Malone's Myrrh and Tonka Body Cream. Everything. Another fragrance that I layered with it is by Clive Christian. It's by the Noble Collection, and this is Blonde Amber. As you can see, this is a very sexy routine. And the next fragrance that we have paired with this, very sexy routine. This routine is not taking any prisoners, okay? If you have a sexy date night, you want to put it on them or whomever and you want to make a statement you want all eyes and attention to be on you you want your fragrance to like just permeate and be out there and just everybody smelling it you're leaving your scent trail and your sillage and it's just the listen these are the combinations that you're going to do okay myrrh and tonka with sultan by royal crown no joke myrrh and tonka with 
Blonde Amber by Clive Christian, no joke. Another one that you can save 20% using my discount code, the great 20 on soavantgarde.com. Y'all, this is freaking amazing. This actually, the Jo Malone Myrn Tonka actually gives this a little bit more sweetness because this is sweet, but it has dried fruits in it. So it's not like a sweet, juicy type of fruit. It's sweet on a, on a different type of level, if that makes any sense. Let me see if I can find the notes. Okay, so in Blonde Amber, we have orange, we have rum, we have ginger, we have cardamom, we have dried fruits, we have tonka, we have myrrh, patchouli, vanilla, and cedar, y'all. Thank me later, okay, thank me later, y'all. If you do this, please let me know because I did this the other night on our date night, and when I tell you, I could not stop smelling myself. Like, I just felt like I smelled so freaking good. I was this close to layering um, the Myrrh and Tonka body, not body cream, um, the Myrrh and Tonka fragrance on top of it. But I was like, you know what? Let me just let the blonde amber shine on her own because this body cream right here is a beast, okay? Like, if you're the person that doesn't want to wear fragrance or, you know, you just don't feel like wearing a fragrance that day, but you still want to smell good, you put this body cream on, it's going to smell like you have perfume on because it is very, very strong and very, very potent. Together, match made. So the last fragrance that I want to share with you that layers beautifully with this, I mean, aside from the Myrrh and Tonka fragrance, like obviously that's a no-brainer because, you know, I do that too, but I didn't want to add that fragrance in this video because I just wanted to pair fragrances that you wouldn't necessarily pair or know to pair with certain lotions. So that's why we're not talking about the Myrrh and Tonka fragrance, but obviously that's a match made. I mean, it's made for it, but High Frequency by Initio. Almonds, vanilla, um, Hedion, Magnolia. Y'all, oh my goodness. I keep telling y'all, it's something with initial fragrances. They're so super sexy. Every single one of them are sexy. Like, I just love this brand. I have so many fragrances from this brand that I purchased with my own coins. This one was sent to me by the fragrance group. If you're interested, you can save 20% using my discount code, the great 20. But Initio as a brand is just top tier to me. The fragrances last, they project, they're different, they're sexy. Paired with this, it's everything. Okay guys, so the next combination literally has me in a chokehold because the fragrance has had me in a chokehold since September or was it October? I'm not sure. But we're gonna talk about a layering combination that goes well with Tribeca by Bond Number no. 9. Now, I think I shared with you guys that I layered with Tribeca the Midnight Amber Glow and it's beautiful, it's perfect, I love it. But I found something else that layers beautifully with it. And it's by Bath & Body Works as well. And it's Vanilla Mocha Martini. Can we talk about it? <laughs> hold, hold on Tribeca, I'm gonna get right back to you girl. Vanilla Mocha Martini, let me tell y'all the notes. Cozy cappuccino, not just regular cappuccino, okay? This cappuccino is cozy, cozy, like Beyonce said. Also, vanilla orchid and white tonka bean. Y'all, let me go ahead and spray this one right here because this is so freaking good. If this was a fragrance, I would buy it. <sighs> it smells like a cappuccino. It smells chocolatey, it smells like coffee, it smells like cacao, it smells a little like caramel. It's so good, y'all. And paired with Tribeca, it's so fire, y'all. I haven't layered anything else with this, but I'm definitely gonna come back in the lab and find something else to layer with this because this is too good. I absolutely love it for fall and winter, cozying up under a blanket, watching TV, date night, out, in, whatever. This is super sexy, okay? Love this so much, y'all. All right, y'all, so the last combination is also by Bath & Body Works, and it's Sweet Whiskey. Let's talk about it, okay? Like, this smells so good. If Let me tell you the notes. Golden Amber, Vanilla Infused Whiskey, and Sweet Red Berries. Y'all, this is so good. I want to find so many more fragrances in my collection that pair well with this because I just love how this smells. I love how all of them smell. But anything that's like boozy and whiskey, like I love scents like that. So this definitely, I have to find some more fragrances that go with this because I want to smell this more often. Now, with Sweet Whiskey, what I paired it with 
is by Killian and it's apple brandy on the rocks. It's fruity, it's sweet, it's boozy. It's everything. I love this scent. There was a time last year, last fall, when I was wearing this more than Angel Share. And if y'all know me, y'all know I absolutely love Angel Share, but it was something that I was craving about the apple brandy on the rocks. It just smells so good to me. I don't have any performance issues with this fragrance. I love the pineapple note in this fragrance. It's so sweet and boozy. It's different. It's definitely a different scent, but for some reason, I'm obsessed with it. I love it. I love how it smells on me. I love how it makes me feel. I just love it so much, y'all. And pair with this is beautiful. So the last fragrance that pairs beautifully with this doesn't really have the notes of this, but it just works. Like I told you, it doesn't have to have the notes exactly, but as long as the scent works together, just layer and have a good old time, okay? And it's Grand Soir by MFK. Beautiful vanilla, amber, cream. Listen, this fragrance isn't for everybody, all right? It's not for everybody, but if you smell it, smell it on your skin, let it dry down, okay? Because the opening can be a little bit like kind of shrieky, but once it dries down on your skin, y'all, it's a completely different vibe, a completely different experience. It's so beautiful. It's so regal. It's so rich smelling. I love it so much. And paired with this, it just adds that extra little something. It makes it a little bit more sweeter in the opening, although it's sweet in the dry down, but it takes it from being only sweet in the dry down to sweet in the opening and the dry down. It is beautiful together, okay? Sweet Whiskey and Grand Soir by MFK. All right, guys, we've come to the end of the video. Leave it in the comments below and let me know, one, if you wanna see this as a series on my channel, and two, what are some fragrances that you layer with body creams, body oils, or fragrance on fragrance? Let's talk about it below like we always do. Remember to stay safe, be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI The Great, signing out, but I'll see you in my next video. Peace.